Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Louis Angel P. Gonzalvo, the school's ICT coordinator of Graciano Lopezana Elementary School, SDO Manila. On today's video, we are going to talk about the ESAT or the Electronic Self-Assessment Tool. So, ano pang hinihintay natin? Pag-usapan na natin kung paano gagawin yan. Ngayon, alamin muna natin kung ano nga ba itong ESAT or SAT RPMS. ESAT stands for Electronic Self-Assessment Tool. So, hindi na bago sa atin to kasi last school year ay gumawa na tayo nito para sa RPMS noong 2019-2020. So, ngayon meron na naman siya pero different indicators. So, the SAT RPMS, ano nga ba siya? It comprises self-assessment questionnaires within the RPMS designed for teachers and master teachers. It can be used as a starting point for informal purposes of self-reflection to clarify performance expectations and determine which competencies to focus on. Guide discussions about goal setting and professional development needs. So there are two SAT RPMS tools. One is the SAT RPMS for teacher 1 to 3, also known as the proficient teachers. On the other hand, the SAT RPMS for master teacher 1 to 4, also known as the highly proficient teachers. So the electronic self-assessment tool or ESAT the ESAT is an electronic version of SAT for RPMS. It is a self-assessment tool that helps teachers reflect on the different objectives related to their professional work. The tools support schools in analyzing school-wide SAT data of teachers' help plan for teachers' professional development. The results of the self-assessment will guide teachers on which RPMS objectives they must improve and the areas where they need coaching and mentoring. So at this point, skip na tayo kung paano nga ba natin uumpisahan itong electronic self-assessment tool. So there are some reminders before using the ESAT. The ESAT for school year 2020-2021 works best in MS Office 2010 or newer. This shall be used during Phase 1 of RPMS 2020-2021. So kung yung office ninyo ay 2007 or 2010 below, hindi siya gagana. So dapat po ay nasa Microsoft Office 2010 or higher version. Each teacher shall have one ESAT collection file and sabi dito do, do not type in fields with drop down button okay then you may now start using the ESAT bago tayo magsimula kailangan muna natin i-download so the download link is in the description below but please be sure to use your DepEd account to access the link Kasi po, kung regular email yung gamit ninyo, hindi nyo ma-access yung link. So, please use official DepEd account in order to download all the tools and the files for the RPMS 2020-2021 including the ESA. Once you click the link, ito yung makikita ninyo. Then, make sure lang na i-download nyo yan by clicking the drop down button here. Then, click download. Then after that, mapupunta siya sa, sa downloads. So, ito na siya. Then, extract the, the folder. Extract all. Ito kasi na-extract ko na siya sa document. So, i-open ko na lang. Papakita ko lang kung paano mag-extract. Browse. Then, click nyo lang documents. Then, select folder. Then, click extract. Okay. After nyo ma-extract, makikita nyo na yung file na yon sa inyong documents. So, let us proceed to the documents. Ito na siya. 
RPMS PPST in the time of COVID-19 school year 2020-2021. So, nandiyan na rin yung lahat ng kailangan for uh, the RPMS. Pero sabi, kung sakaling may update, dun lang daw sila mag upload sa link na binigay nila. So, let us open the other associated tools kasi nandito yung ESAT file or yung SAT file. Yan. So, ESAT, this one. Then, for teachers. Once you open this, kailangan nyo pa siyang i-extract. But this one extracted na siya kasi na-extract ko na before. Kasi nga, binrowse ko. So, let us open. Then, here's the DepEd Prescribed ESAT School Year 2020-2021 Let's open it Ayan na po Kapag na-open nyo na yung Electronic Self-Assessment Tool Yan na yung inyong makikita So now, ang gagawin ninyo is to click Enable Editing Yan Para ma-access nyo yung pinaka-file. Kasi, kailan ma-enable yung macros. And after enab enabling the macros, just click the start button. Ito. Let's proceed. Then, privacy notice. You will read that. I authorize the personnel of DepEd to collect, process, retain, and dispose my personal information in accordance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Then, of course, agree. Kasi kapag click nyo yung disagree, hindi siya magpo-proceed. So, let's click agree. Then, dito na papasok yung ating mga data. Sagutan lang natin. So, let's type in our name dito. At dapat pala ay naka-all caps. And it begins with the last name followed by the first name and middle initial. Again, last name, comma, space, first name, and middle initial. Okay, so let's begin. So, dapat din pala may hawak kayong ID para hindi na kayo uh, maghanap kapag gumagawa. Kasi ako, medyo natagal ako, natagalan ako sa pag-accomplish kasi hinanap ko pa yung employee number, yung mga kailangan para dito sa ano, sa ESAT. So, let's begin. Paalala po, sa position po, kapag pinili nyo po ay Master Teacher, automatic po na magiging blue yung background ng Excel. Kapag blue na po yun, ibig sabihin po ay for empties po yung form na yun. Maraming salamat. So, this one, sa level toth, uh, lalabas siya kapag na-specify nyo na siguro yung curricular classification. Babalikan natin yan later on. And, same with this, yung grade level toth. Balikan na natin kasi may curricular classification na siya. C, lumabas din. Okay, then this one, tick the box lang. Then, 
Then, after nyo sagutan tong part na to, click next. And, ito na yung part 2. Basahin nyo lang kung ano sa tingin nyo. Make sure be honest on answering the following objectives. Kasi, self-assessment to, kaya kayo yung mismong nakakakilala sa sarili nyo. One eternity later. Click next lang kapag natapos. Then, this is the part 3. This is the core behavioral competencies. Uh, ititik lang ulit yung box kung sa tingin yung uh, you demonstrated that during the performance cycle. One eternity later. At pag natapos na kayong sagutan, just click save. And that's it. Uh, based on the manual, sabi dito, kailangan daw ay nakakonek sa printer yung inyong laptop or desktop para maiprint nyo na kagad yung result. Then, after that, you may click finish. Okay, so ito na yung aking sat. Ang bilis lang matapos kung talagang uh, gagawin nyo, isang upuan lang talaga siya. Kasi nga, hindi na tayo pinahirapan. So, let's click print. And, ayun na, binato niya na sa printer. Then, click OK. Then, after that, you have to click finish. Then, Magsiset kayo ng sarili nyong password. Make sure lang na alam nyo yung password nyo. At tatandaan nyo dapat yung password nyo kasi pag hindi nyo na alam yung password, baka hindi nyo na ito ma-open ulit. So, pakisulat na lang sa isang papel yung inyong password para ma-open nyo siya at mababalikan nyo siya. Kasi kung hindi, uulit na naman kayo ng SAT. So, let us type in our password. Again. then after that click finalize and ayan na it is already finalized survey completed then click view so kapag i-view mo merong password na nare-require so i-type natin yung nilagay ko kanina Ayan. So, diba? Diyan na siya. So, finish nyo lang. Then, tapos na. Sabi dito, submit this file to your department head or school head for consolidation. So, si school head, I mean, bago kay school head, ipapasa siya sa ICT coordinator. Then, according to the manual, sabi sa manual, Submit the soft copy of the file to your department head or ICT coordinator or school head for consolidation. So use the file name DepEd Prescribe ESAT SY 2020-2021-Level and teacher surname, comma, last name. So i-re-rename natin ito. When we say level Kung kayo ba ay nasa elementary, uh, junior high school, senior high school, and yun yung level na sinasabi dito. So, after we close this, puntahan natin yung ginawa natin. Then, let us rename. So, let's try 2020-2021. And LM, nasa LM kasi ako. Then,
and that's it it's ready for submission to your ICT coordinator okay so ganun lang yung pagsagot ng ating electronic self -assess assessment tool so thank you for watching this video I hope you learned something from me again this is Louie Anzel. Kung hindi ka pa subscribe, please tap the subscribe button and also tap the notification bell for more updates. I'll see you in my next bid. Peace out.